full moon? Who was our full, who was our most recent full moon? I, will we have a Virgo full moon? It, it feels Virgo. Yes, because if we just had a Leo full moon, I feel like, yeah, I had a Luna honoring. Oh my God, this is how I relate to time. I had a Luna honoring. So if we're having a Virgo full moon, that'll come in your 10th house, your midheaven. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is good. So you'll have like a work clean out reflection on your work reflect on your work everything you've been doing on this full moon so if this is a Virgo full moon the Virgo new moon twenty Aries new moon will be our initiation for real. I would just observe the energy between now and then, but also um, hold the vision of receiving what you want to receive. If that would be some type of presentation or, um, and how, you know what I mean? Like there's typically some type of presentation in that. So you can envision yourself receiving that presentation Getting your energy levels, built. okay, building your container, no, because you're going to get a huge injection of energy, so if you build your container, you might as well be blowing it out. Opening to the flow, clearing your channels, that will require processing energy and processing emotions. Three handstands today. So I woke up cloudy, three handstands against the wall, opening it up and planting it, sending it through my, yeah, I felt it. This, this hurts less now. I can do this now. So making space, this is an example. I'm making space through this, this pain like this, breathing into it. Oh my God. I've made so much progress. This hurts less. Release. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so doing a lot of that work created some <clears throat> concentration of energy right here this morning. And I woke up with a headache and I just woke up really cloudy and I knew immediately and at first I wanted to resist the handstands and I knew that was exactly what I needed I even tried to do an alternative like and I'm like no I need that alignment the alternative was a half bend and I'm like no I need a full handstand so when I recognize I'm in resistance I immediately resolve it and dive into handstand and yeah, I felt it break, it's like a glacier, and then I felt it move through. And now I'm making more progress, and there will be another one of those moments, and it will show itself in a different way, or the same way, I don't know, sometimes, you know, it's usually different. So clear your body, get ready for the Aries new moon. So, also some things to touch on, but I'm going to move into another. Where your Saturn is going to be, it's also going to help this node situation so you can build your structures. 
But since Saturn is going to move into Aquarius, it's like, like bamboo. Oh, that's a great example. Yes. For wind. Aquarius, though, is, um, it's an air sign. But it's also like the water carrier. So what would be like another example of that? Besides like maybe a sailboat? Except the nodes are going to be Gemini. Sagittarius. Okay, I love looking at those charts and making notes. So I'll send you all that. Mercury and Pisces. Yeah, March 10th. Direct, Mercury rec retrograde, direct, March 10th. So March 10th through May, because that's when the nodes switch. Uranus is gonna have some stuff. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Venus is gonna be moving into Taurus. So she and Uranus are gonna be having some conversations. Whew. Exciting times. <laughs> 